Welcome to the lesson on assignments. This one's pretty quick and easy. Assignments are a fantastic way for you to measure the performance of your students during your course. This will involve greater levels of interaction with you. So just a heads up, if you create an assignment lesson, your students will download the assignment, complete the assignment, and then upload the assignment at which point you will review their work. So let's take a look at how to add an assignment to your curriculum. So we go to the curriculum builder, we click on add lesson, under assess your students, we're going to select assignment. Now you've got the title block here. So we're gonna say, this one's going to be homework one, right? We're just gonna keep this super generic can't type with my hands behind the keyboard. Okay, so homework one. Now homework one, we can provide directions here, right? So we're gonna provide directions to the student on what the intent of the homework assignment is. <clears throat> so let's uh, intent or reason why, right? We're also going to provide direction on how they should submit or complete and submit their assignment. And then we also want to provide direction on when it's due, okay? So we wanna spell all that out here in text, even if we have other ways to address that in the settings here. But let's go ahead and make sure we spell it out for our students so there's no ambiguity, clearly state your expectations for them, and then clearly point them to any resources or content that the assignment um, has a dependency on. So if there is a separate file, a lesson, whatever that they should have uh, already consumed or used during the assignment, you're gonna wanna spell that out here. So the next thing we would do is we would scroll down to the downloadable template and you can provide your students with a form, right? So it could be a Word document, a spreadsheet, a PDF, uh, whatever, you have a lot of freedom with the file type because these are the only three files that you can't use uh, according to Thinkific. And you can select a file and upload the file there. So you can upload the template for their assignment into the lesson via this select file button. Now down here, you can limit the size of the file that a student can submit. The system automatically limits them at 100 megabytes. So it sets the default ceiling at 100 megabytes, but you are free to reduce that size if you'd like, right? Um, but basically this keeps the students from overwhelming you with large files because once you see their assignment, let's just go ahead and select a file. I'm just gonna use a, um, a random file here. So once we select a file, that one will work. It will upload it. And they will they will be able to download that file in the in in the course uh, lesson and fill it out. Like they can use it, but you'll see it's a download. So you have to be careful about the size of the file you load and then the file that they return because uh, you'll be you'll be downloading a ton of big files. The other thing to think about with assignments is if you have a high volume course load, meaning if you expect a lot of students or a lot of uh, clients using this function of your course, just know that for every one of these assignments you uh, you provide them, they're going to be responding and you are going to be on the hook to, open review and provide feedback on their assignments. So this is, uh, you're kind of setting yourself up for some future work as well here. Now, there is a confirmation message that will appear uh, once the student has submitted their assignment. So you wanna tell them what the next steps are after the assignment has been submitted. So they have some default language here uh, in, in the Thinkific Builder. You can see it says, we will email you once you've completed reviewing your submission, your assignment must be approved in order to complete the lesson. So that's what uh, Thinkific embeds in this block for you. Now, it doesn't make any sense normally to make this a free preview lesson unless you're trying to give the student a preview before they purchase. 
of the full experience of your course, including the submission of an assignment. The reason why it doesn't make much sense at all to use a free preview for an assignment is that it puts that workload on you. And, and again, it's a free preview. So do you want to take that on? Now, there is some creative ways to use that function for the assignment in a way, in a free preview, sorry, in a way that is beneficial to you and your business. So you might be using the free preview of a course for a lead capture, right? You're trying to get people engaged with the content. And then in the assignment, you could you can include um, like an assessment, right? Let's say you're a coach and you want to have them self-assess their habits or a certain uh, aspect of their profession or whatever. You could create an assignment they could open that assignment, fill out that assignment, submit that assignment, and now you've captured that input about your potential client. And you can use that to reach back to them and provide them feedback, which uh, demonstrates your dedication to them as a potential lead. And it also shows them how the, how the course works and what type of value this interaction will provide them as a student. This might be the thing that entices them to pay for your mid to high tiered course. So very, uh, you can be creative with the use of an assignment as a lead magnet in a free preview. Also, uh, you, can, you can choose to make this a prerequisite, which means that again, you would, they, the student would have to finish this assignment before they can move on to the next chapter in the course. And as always, I highly encourage you to consider enabling a discussion for this assignment so that if students have questions or feedback on the assignment that they want to ask you or, um, or have available to other people in the course on a discussion board, uh, you, can, you can see it there. So we'd hit save. And now that assignment is loaded into the course, right, right here, down here at assignment uh, homework number one. So yeah, pretty cut and dry. Here's the form. So a student, if I want to go to preview, current lesson, this is what the student will see in the player. They'll see all the directions you gave them. They'll be able to download the file here, right, by clicking on this. And then they'll be able to submit their file via this upload. And they can, it's basically like the upload, uh, uh, tool that you have available to you as a curriculum developer. It's the same exact function. So they would just click on this uh, files to upload and it would open their folder. Okay. So that is the gist of the assignments block. You can use it for assessing uh, student performance. You can use it for a free preview lead value add or lead capture tool. You can use it for a coaching program. You can use it for all different types of applications. It's very powerful. The big difference between the assignment and say the quizzes and surveys is that there's a feedback mechanism. You're going to receive this and you're going to provide them with feedback on the assignment. Okay, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.